Hey, what's going on, everyone? How you guys doing? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is Wheelman, and I am in Tumwater, Washington at the local Walmart time, roughly around 1130 p.m. This was back in March of 2019 when I wanted to just uh, do a walkthrough right after a, uh, a big snowstorm had hit to see just what I could find at the Walmart. And believe me, it gets pretty weird when it comes to food items. So here we are in the produce section, which is the best place to start any kind of shopping trip. And the only reason why I'm here was to look to see whether or not any of the pineapples were on clearance because uh, I'm hungry. Also found this uh, sheet cake that's uh, clearanced out for 13 bucks. Contemplated it for a second and then, um, you know what, did the right thing and put it back because that's what a responsible guy does. Though I did avoid the devil's fruit, which would be cheesecake which is my absolute favorite. I, I love that so damn much, but I, I didn't get it because I'm, I'm better than that. And I did, I did get tempted by Hot Pockets, but thankfully my favorite kind was gone. As we can see here, a lot of the Hot Pockets uh, aren't there. It's a big seller. Makes a lot of sense because it's absolutely terrible for you. Easter was right around the corner when I recorded this, so I took a quick walk down the Easter aisle to see what we could find. And these uh, Twix Shell Smashers, caught my attention uh, nice looking box there love me some twix but look at the calorie count no no that's no i'm good i'm gonna put i'm gonna put that five dollar thing back and uh, not look at it ever again although the peanut butter uh, if russell stevens egg looked pretty tasty and i found these um starburst jelly beans which uh, are kind of my kryptonite when it comes to candy it's uh very good not fat free like it says uh, the Reese's had a pretty decent sized selection of stuff and I'm a big peanut butter junkie. So I was uh, taking a look around to see if there's anything I could talk myself into buying. But I did see these uh, white Reese's uh, eggs down here, these peanut butter eggs. And uh, it caught my attention because it looked disgusting because white chocolate is kind of gross. And they were 180 calories for I think two of them. So I'm good, thanks. However, the cereal aisle is is not any better. I mean, this mass-produced generic cereal, for the most part, uh, is terrible for you. Look at this here, peanut butter cup cereal. Who, who would feed their kids peanut butter cups in the morning, chocolate peanut butter? Or, or oh, here we go. Birthday cake remix Cold Stone Creamery cereal next to our strawberry blonde cereal. This is what people feed their children. And this one here, this was the, the worst offender. Donuts, powdered mini donut cereal. Nothing says diabetes like Hostess. From here, I jumped over to the energy drink aisle, which is kind of my home away from home, and uh, looked to see what they had that might have been new. Uh, not a big G Fuel fan or Game Fuel fan. Uh, not a big uh, fan of uh, th these ones up here either, but the 300 milligrams of caffeine, not too bad, especially zero carbs, zero sugar. That's the one I generally tend to drink, except now I've discovered Bang, so my life is better. Steel Reserve has a couple interesting uh, drinks out there. Blue Raz and Spiked Punch next to Strawberita and Ice Smash by Smirnoff because that's exactly what we need to drink. Although I am a Mike's Hard Lemonade fan myself, I um, I was laughing at the Chilada by Budweiser. It's, it's beer and Clamato because that's terrible. Over here in the adult nutrition aisle, I wanted to see just what it would take to work off some of the winter weight I had gained and using supplements. Uh, but look at this here, $40 for uh, Alley weight loss pills, apparently FDA approved, or if you're keto friendly, there's some stuff there. There's, look at all this here, a Kai Berry cleanse. I mean, where's the, 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 the enema that just shoots right at my butt? Uh, these things are so overpriced and honestly, exercising a good diet will makes these irrelevant. But next to the tampons, this was great. Spring Oreos, I just thought that was funny. From there, I decided to walk over to the uh, electronics section to see what I could find in the Nintendo Switch aisle, mostly because I've always been looking for ways to better use my Switch. And I, I love this promotional video because it shows you things that no one actually uses their Nintendo Switch for. However, in the video game section, uh, Nintendo never really drops the price. We see ARMS is still 60 bucks. They've never updated it, 60 bucks. Fortnite right there, 30 bucks uh, for a free game. Go figure on that one. And even Skyrim, 60 bucks, because Todd Howard can never sell you the game at a decent damn price. But they have these pretty cool uh, Nintendo Switch controllers, these branded controllers I thought were pretty great, uh, especially the Legend of Zelda one right here. Would have loved to have brought that one home with me. 
Uh, and then even GameCube controllers for the Switch because of Smash and the fact that that's still the best controller for the damn Nintendo ever. Uh, but they've even the, the, the Labo for 70 bucks and uh, no one bought it because it sucks. I did find this Alan Wake bundle for $19 in clearance in the PC gaming section, which um, I almost bought but chose not to, mostly because I already have these games and uh, I don't need them again. But this Fallout mystery box for $14.88. Yeah, let that one sink in. But this whole thing, uh, you know, a couple little items inside. The Fallout scarf looks interesting considering that I live in Washington, so it could be good for the winter, but uh, I didn't buy it. This Galaga machine or this arcade machine, there's a bunch of these things here. These are $300 a pop. They look pretty cool. They, they seem pretty fun to play, um, but you don't get every game. In fact, this one has four games, Asteroids, a few other ones. Then another one next one has Rampage and Gauntlet and Joust and Defender. Then there's Galaga and then there's Street Fighter games. I mean, so if you want to build a home arcade for, you know, over a thousand dollars, you could you could get a couple of these things, I guess. And uh, wow, that's pretty crazy to me. But I did find some cool looking steel books. If you know me, you know I'm a pretty big movie buff. Uh, Zombieland looks pretty awesome there. Fight Club, of course, is amazing. Hercules is eight bucks because no one liked it. Drive, War for the Planet of the Apes. Uh, and even Django Unchained looked pretty great. But still, Ghostbusters 1 and Ghostbusters 2. This is before the 40th uh, released, so there's that. Uh, Batman Beyond Complete Series, but it's coming out on Blu-ray later on this year, so there's no point to picking that up now. Just wait for the Blu-ray and the high def uh, remaster. I did find the Alien Covenant and Prometheus DVD for like five bucks. No, thank you. Same with the Blade 4-pack, which gives you with the Blade films and the made-for-TV one on Spike. Yeah, that exists. Uh, don't watch it. Although the American Pie 4-pack did almost come home with me because I love those movies. I found these uh, Crimes of Grindelwald posters, which, uh, you know what? I mean, it looks okay, except for the Hufflepuff one there. Stop trying to make it a thing. It's not a thing. And, you know, they're kind of cheap, but that's what Walmart gives us here. There's also these uh, Halloween or these horror based posters. And uh, the thing is, I would buy all of these because they're great, with the exception of The Exorcist, because, you know, uh, like whatever. But uh, none of those posters were actually inside this container. All the ones you see right there were all of something else. They were just moved over and completely, completely mixed in like Nickelodeon here. I did find this Fortnite magazine. If you want to get the special Newsweek edition of Fortnite, that's that's a thing. I'm not going to buy it. I would never buy it, not at all. <laughs> but Batman's Ultimate Guide. This is from the 80th uh, anniversary is this year. It was $13. It had a lot of cool things in it, but I just couldn't justify the purchase because I know a lot of that anyway. Minecraft the Island, written by Max Brooks, author of World War Z. That's actually going to go on my reading list. Next to uh, the Solo Tales from Vandor book, which um, I, I'm a little bit concerned about this one because it says here that it's it's kind of like the tale of Solo. It's his story as told by someone named Midnight. At the very bottom says, pull up a chair and let Midnight tell you of the daring adventures from a galaxy far, far away. But you open it up and you find this passage here about Lobot. And it's it's towards the end of the book, and it's kind of weird. It's kind of innuendo-ish, if you ask me, talking about how Lando and Lobot went off towards Bespin. Um, it, I don't know. It's a little bit weird to read. This is a kid's book, but uh, I, I got a weird vibe from this particular passage. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Disney and their overpriced movies. Seriously, it's $18 for this Olaf's Frozen Adventure short film. It includes a few other short films in there, but it, no, Disney overprices all this crap all the time. I'm good. I'll pass. And that actually wraps up my time here at Walmart. Uh, kind of felt like I overstayed my welcome and some employees were like, who is this guy walking around in the middle of the night with a camera? And I'm like, you know what? It's time I kind of kind of get the hell out of here. Uh, so I just made my way through the clothes and, and out the front door. Anyway, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and watching this particular video. If you guys like it, please toss it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel and let me know if there's any other stories you want me to walk around and comment on what I see. My name is Matt Jarbo. This has been Wheelman. Have yourself a fantastic day, guys. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me and peace out.